uh, we, we do have a country that works over time. I mean, it's an unbelievable country. And it will continue to work. It, it, will, it will get people, well, we had a civil war here in, the, you know, in, the, in this country. We have had all kinds of problems in the past. But this country, is, it's unbelievable what's happened since 1776, and the game isn't over. So I'm, I'm an optimist about it getting solved. Uh, but if you asked me how it was going to happen, I would say uh, I don't have the faintest it's idea. The, it's, it's, it's a terrible situation, you know, whether it's in a family, in a business, in a government, when a significant portion of the people involved don't even really want to succeed. They want the other person to fail. And uh, that's it. You'd never want to bring that, you know, into, into, into any activity. I mean, it, uh, but a significant percentage of people in Congress really want the president to fail. Yeah. And that is not good for the country. And, and uh, uh, we'll, get, we'll get past it one way or another. But, uh, but it has been, you know, it has been a pretty ugly show in, 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 in recent years. Uh, uh, but don't, don't ever, do, uh, that should not affect in any way your business decisions. Charlie Munger and I have been making stock decisions and business decisions uh, one way or another together now for 55 years. We have never let, well, the macro doesn't enter into it, nor does political. We, we, have, we have not made decisions differently because one party or the other's in power. We have not made decisions based on whether we thought interest rates were going to go up or down or, or you know, what was going to happen with labor negotiations someplace. You, know, you don't want to give up what you know how to do because of opinions which you don't know whether they're right or not and which are going to be transitory in any event. So you really go out there every day and do whatever makes the most sense. So when we buy the auto dealerships last week, uh, we don't factor in anything about the Fed, about the deadlock in politics, about what's going on around the world. Those are all important things, but they don't affect whether those dealerships, which we're buying to own 100 years, they don't affect whether they're going to make money in the year 2024 or 2034 or 2044. And the important thing is whether we get a good business with good management at a sensible price. Yeah. We're across the board in everything. We're now in planes, trains, and automobiles, yeah. <laughs> among other things. They, but we're, we're, we're in all kinds of businesses, and they interact with all kinds of businesses. We have seen, since 2009, really a rather steady not at the rate people hope, but a rather steady increase in business right straight through. We've heard talk, and you've heard talk during that period about double dips and all these things and acceleration and everything. We have not seen it accelerate much or decelerate much ever from, let's say, a 2% or thereabout uh, uh, rate. And that's what we see today. And we see it, whether it's in freight car loadings, we see it in all kinds of ways. Automobiles have been better than I would have anticipated. Housing has been worse than I would have anticipated. But overall, the economy has been moving forward now for five years. Now, it's moving from a position that, you know, they talk about having eight or nine recessions since World War II and how we've come out of them faster. This was way, way, way different than any other recession we've had post-World War II. This was a recession where virtually everybody in this room and around the country was actually scared for a while. I mean, people go through recessions and they're unpleasant and all that, but people literally, they took treasury bill rates down to a negative rate. Now, when you were willing to take less money from a treasury mill, bill than you would get from putting money under your mattress, you know, that is a different phenomenon in, in economics from what we've experienced. So, so you have had a, the American people be paralyzed by fear and coming out of that paralysis. And the gain has been really, I think, quite satisfactory. I mean, you'd, you'd love to see it faster. And let me point out one other thing. We talk about 2% of your gains down. Everybody says that's terrible, you know, and it's not our potential and everything. The population is probably going to grow at a little less than 1% a year. So if you have 2% real gains, that means in a, in, in, in a generation, in 20 years, you will have greater than a 20% per capita gain in real GDP. Now, real GDP is about $54,000 per person in the United States. If you get a 20% real gain per capita, that's $10,000 per person more of per capita income in the United States in one generation. 
It's fantastic. I mean, it, 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 it may not be as good as we did in some of the decades after World War II, but if you go back in history, centuries went by without, without getting anything like that. And, and 20% gain, how would you like to have that distributed somehow evenly across the population? You'd be rid of all poverty and everything else. So even at our present rates of gain, this country is churning out more and more stuff per capita uh, year by year, and it will continue to do so. We have a marvelous machine, and, and it, has, it has worked extraordinarily since 1776. In my lifetime, I was born in 1930, in my lifetime, the real GDP per capita in the United States has increased six for one, one person's lifetime. You know, I mean, it, it, nothing like it's ever happened. And, and, and it isn't because we're smarter, and it isn't because we work harder, it's because we have a system that unleashes human potential. And, and you know, just look at the people in this room. I mean, you know, you, you have more potential than you thought you had 10 years ago or 20 years ago. You certainly have more potential than your parents thought you had. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>